I think that when it comes to Ghanoushi's U-turn with regards to his rhetoric on Qais Saeed's coup, I think it's important to remember that Ghanoushi is under heavy pressure from two fronts. The first front is, of course, Qais Saeed, who has embarked on his coup, who has suspended parliament, lifted immunity from members of parliament, and is arresting members of parliament and putting them in front of military courts and not civil courts. And Qais Saeed is channeling that popular anger towards Anahva, and there is a real fear that Anahva at some point will be arrested and will be put before uh, these uh, courts. The second front is Ranushi is under pressure from members of his own party who are becoming increasingly louder in their calls for Ranushi to step aside as they fear this existential crisis that they see looming uh, on the horizon, this sense of impending doom, and seek to abandon Ranushi and sacrifice him to the angry Tunisian populace in order to preserve themselves and preserve uh, the party. But it's important to remember that uh, this U-turn that we're seeing from Ghanoushi with regards to his rhetoric on the coup is not the first time we've seen this ex exceptional display of pragmatism. In 2013, when Sisi had actually done his coup against the democratically elected Mohamed Morsi, it gave this wave of momentum to widespread protests that broke out in Tunisia and that were calling for the fall of the Anahda government. Rashid Ghanoushi at the time, instead of digging his heels in and asserting the legitimacy of his government or asserting the validity of the democratic transition, chose instead to compromise. He threw out his government, he threw out his prime minister who was very upset and sought to resist Ghanoushi by establishing a technocratic uh, government. Ghanoushi rejected that and of course Hamad Ijbeli, the angry prime minister, eventually left uh, another. Ghanoushi agreed to a national dialogue to be led by the trade unions. He agreed to unfavorable terms. He agreed to surrender executive powers, he agreed to the government that was formed uh, from the national uh, dialogue and essentially as a result of these compromises and his subsequent declaration that this was all done in the spirit of democracy as opposed to the spirit of overturning the democratic transition which is what much of the protesters uh, who were inspired by Sisi were actually seeking, Ghanoushi called it all part of the democratic process and he survived and his party survived. But regardless of what Ranushi says, it's still a coup.